Yeah. Gobble gobble, motherfuckers. That time of again. Thanks killing that week. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. Thanks killing Tuesday. Now, <clears throat> normally, for these past couple of years, I've been doing this and I'm going to continue to do this. I'd have a new face on here every time. This year, I don't have a new face. But, but, believe it or not, people, I did get my wife to watch both of these movies with me. Did a watch party over on Stream Lounge, which you can go back and listen to it. You can probably hear her in the background here and there. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie to you guys. She did laugh and chuckle at some parts. But for some reason, she wasn't a fan of this movie. <laughs> Movies. Um, you know, it, it, At least it, your wife watched them. My, my wife walked in and she's like, what the fuck are you watching? She's like, nope, and just left. Well, that's how she was the very first time that, uh, well, the very first time I was watching them when she seen me watching them, because I've watched these. That's not important how many times I've watched these, but I watched these enough. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. And the one time she was just got up and left the room. It wasn't even like two minutes. And this time she just she was like, I'll watch him with you for the watch party. And I was like, okay. But she, gave them, team, man. she gave them both zeros. I don't understand why, but you know. Well, I'm with her, except there's a one in front of it. Yep. That's it. Exactly. So yeah. kind of the same. Kind of the same. But uh I do have an intro for us, then we can dive into this and some other mm-hmm. random horror stuff. So let's uh let's get into that. Happy thanks killing. Happy thanks killing. Yes, it's a motherfucking celebration. You know we do this once a year, every year. We added three and a watch party. Stay tuned for this awesome review. Cause it's gonna be a great fucking time. Gobble gobble motherfuckers. Nice tits, bitch. Welcome to the madness. Welcome to the motherfucking gobble gobble madness. Damn right. <clears throat> he knows. He knows what the fuck he's talking about. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's it's the, you know what it is about these movies that I love. It's always interesting bringing at least one person in there that's never seen it before and getting their getting what they feel on it but then watching it with them is even better like like i said i was watching with the wife earlier and i've watched this countless times <clears throat> and now my next goal is to see if i can get her to watch it again next year i'm gonna try <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not gonna happen i'm gonna do a you're, watch you're lucky you got her first time we'll see we'll see <laughs> we'll see but I'm saying though it was, it was worth it. it was Listen, worth it. the they what they were working with, and how they spun it around and made it a comedy and shit. They're ripping off other like styles of movie, like other movies. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. It's it, it is so dumb. Where right? okay, I, I agree. You, you feel like you lose a couple IQ points, That's fine. but it's worth it. It's worth it. Fuck it. It's. It's one of those movies to where you know what you're getting yourself into, I feel, just by the title, just by mm-hmm. the cover. Like, this one you could judge by the cover, and I think the covers for both are fucking awesome. So, to film, I mean, these movies are fucking awesome. They're fun. Are they good movies as far as storylines? Hell fucking no. <clears throat> are they good movies as far as, like, keep you entertained, laugh, stupid humor, if you're into that shit? Hell fucking yes. Even more so if you're high. And I will say this though, these movies are probably good to watch. I mean, some I know there's people that like them that enjoy these more than I do. For me, I'm I'm good once a year. I could watch them twice a year, but I'm I'm really good once a year watching them. I I think I enjoy them more because it just brings back that joy. Not like a first time watch, but it's just like oh, I haven't seen this in so fucking long. Which I haven't seen this in a year. It feels so good to watch again, like around now. It's kind of like, <clears throat> for me, it's kind of like, um, I guess the times that I do actually watch Christmas movies, I usually watch them like, say, late November or all throughout December, maybe even, th- maybe December to January at the latest. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done. 
and that's for regular Christmas movies or Christmas horror movies. So <clears throat> watching that little thing, they just feel like they're better movies in those little time frames anyway. You enjoy them a little bit more, I feel. Yeah. <clears throat> I uh I watch them every year now because we review them. Yeah. But if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't, but it don't take nothing away. Like I think they're ten for what they are. Mm -hmm. And I don't hate like we say, oh we gotta watch these again. It don't bother me. Same here. My only thing like my goal every year, and I guess what I should start doing is maybe late October mid to late October, definitely all through November up till the point is just try to get some guests. Like, hey, listen, if you've never seen this movie before, I'm trying to get, let's just say three guests or just to throw a number out there, two, three guests to come on this and review this. Watch it, both of these movies, and then review it with us. And Dude, no there's thing. people, I'm telling you, there's people just like you that watch this every year. There's a few horror groups I've seen that people are doing podcasts and they're doing this movie because of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. so Sorry. people know about it it's out there oh i know i know but there's still a few who who are still up that that won't give it a chance just because how it is you gotta yeah. watch it you gotta watch it at least one time just do it it's worth it it's it so is. fucking worth every just, second of it just by some of the, of the one punchline quotes in there the movie uh, start. The movie fucking starts off with Aaron's favorite phrase. Go ahead, Aaron. What is it? Nice tits, bitch. Both okay. movies. Start with that. The, yeah, he has pair of titties in both films. And yes, you are right. Yes, it that it has like three weird stories combined into one story. You have a fucking puppet. You got fucking the, these alien fucking. Police <laughs> or whatever fuck you want to call them. It, it was just some weird. Yo, shit. it's just yo. They say some crazy shit though. It's, it's fucking. fucking God. It's, oh god, it's so dumb. It's hilarious though. That's what it is. It's it's that stupid fucking humor. Both of them, or that stupid fucking humor. Like they were, the acting was terrible. Overacting, especially. Oh. I can point out the chick in the first one, the brunette chick that was acting stupid. Like yeah. They did it because that's what they had to do for that. But they, I feel they, they played it up so much with her, though. Yeah. But so much. Almost to the fact of like where she was originally blonde. No disrespect to blondes out there, but just the stereotype with that around, you know, movies in the 2000s and 90s and yeah. that, 80s, probably. Ooh, all the million it. blonde jokes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but, no, but, yeah. She was, uh, yeah. I, I see what you're saying, but I didn't expect. Like I said, I go in these movies. The acting can be horrible. It don't matter. If that shit don't bother me because I no, like the punchlines. All everything the fucking turkey says is hilarious. Everything, quote everything he fucking says. You like, just got like, like 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 the first one. Like we said, you said, oh, gobble, gobble, motherfucker. That's another tagline. You gobble, gobble, motherfucker. You just got stuffed. You just got, yeah. <clears throat> Yo, you know what I just thought of, too, is how brutal this movie is. Just just in how psychologically fucked up. The Think about this, right? Think about this. Think about this. Anybody that's watching and listening, Liz, I want to hear your, your, your comments on this, right? So the turkey, I'm going to say this really quick. The turkey, <clears throat> spoiler alert, there's a part where he's hitchhiking and he gets into his car, right? And he shoots him. I'm going to talk about what's in between. But when he shoots the dude in the face with the rifle. Mm. Or whatever kind of gun. Oh, a shotgun. Sorry. I don't, I'm not a gun guy. Um, well, he blows the dude's head off, right? But he goes in there. So he, he's get, he's hitchhiking. And the guy talks to him. He's like, you know, gas or ass. And the person goes, well, I'm out of gas. So I guess ass. And then the dude starts unzipping his pants. Unzipping. Unzipping his pants. <laughs> And I forgot what Turkey says exactly, but he out of nowhere he pulls a gun out and puts it up to the guy's head. He's like, "Do you have any kids to get a daughter?" He's like, "Call your daughter." This is the part where it's like fucked up. He has the turkey has him call his daughter. He's like, "You know, baby, I'll be home soon." Blah 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 blah. And then he blows his head off, and then yeah, drives. like that's some crazy shit. It was that fun. That was it, dark, yeah, but it was funny. Because of the way it is in the movie, it was funny. But you take that take that scene right there, all joking aside, you take that scene right there, 
out of this movie, or you just pull that scene and you put it in a more serious, sinister, dark movie. And that's one of those scenes where you're just like, oh, shit. Oh, my fucking goodness. That shit really happened. That's the type of scene in this movie. But, you know, it was a horror comedy, so you're not really looking at it like that. And then there's a scene where the, you know, the turkey kills... He kills the the one dude, the football player's parents. Yo. He kills the one girl. What does he kill? The one chick's what? Father. Father, the sheriff. Yo. He kills the one dude's best friend. And then kills the ends up killing the other dude. But what 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 the funny part is always all these people end up dying. And the the, the girl, the guy that end up together, they're like, yeah, well, we both lost all of our families, but at least we're a boyfriend and girlfriend now. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Kind of that they're sitting on the couch watching the movie. Yeah, this, like nothing's going on. Oh my god. Oh man, but I loved it. It was just. Yeah, I think they made they made fun of that because that's how they're making fun of that, how that's in all the horror movies. Like or, their people's families die, and all of a sudden even, you forget even, about that. I mean, even in some love stories, I'm sure it's like that to where they don't really carry on more than you think they would. Like, yo, that was your so and so, and you're just like. Yeah, I'll be okay. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. Exactly. But, but it's funny shit. It's I, I still though, man. I love this shit because it's the stupid. The stupid line, one-liner jokes was the one. Uh, her legs are harder to close than John Benet. But they keep repeating it, and they're all dying laughing every damn time until the last time. Until the, the last time, but the girl said it right. No, no, no. It was when it was when the nerdy kid said it. When the chick was. Dead. Oh yeah, he said. And everybody just looked at him like. Huh? He said it twice outside, but that part. So the part that was, well, you just got stuffed. Yes. <laughs> that part was funny. And then when the, when the dude picked up the condom, he was like, "Gravy flavored condom, extra well, small. Well, an extra small gravy flavored condom." And he threw it down on the ground. He was like, "And she was just warming up to me too." Oh my god! That shit was just. You can't get enough of this movie, man. I swear, you can't get enough. I know. I say I watch it once a year, and I'm 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 always tempted to watch it one more time, but it's like I'm so excited to watch it one one side at a time, one year at a time. At the same, it's it's weird. It's weird. Oh my god, no, Liz, we're being dead serious. Like this this movie is, and that was all from part one, and part three is way weirder. In a yes. different like both these movies are weird, strange, silly, stupid, crazy, funny, fun, but in completely different ways of weirdness. Yeah. Part three is really weirdly sexual in a hilarious way, though. A yeah. hilarious, weird way. So here's the um in case nobody knows. We're reviewing Thanks always- Killing and Thanks Killing Three. There is no part two. Part three, they are searching for part two because exactly. In the story of, so in the story with part three, I'm gonna spoil this, people. I'm sorry, this is a spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. But uh, so in part three, they're searching for part two. There's one copy left because it was the worst movie ever. I highly doubt that because Blood Lake is out there and that wasn't destroyed. It probably should have been. I agree. <clears throat> but anyway, I uh, you know, which I love that Thanks Killing Part Two. If there is a a real copy out there, send it to Sturdy because I'll greatly appreciate that. I'll watch it. I'll love it. I'll cherish it. All that other good shit. And the music from this movie was dope. Yeah. That's another thing. Like, can I use that shit for my podcast, guys? Please? Tell us. <laughs> I want to connect with you guys. I'm serious. The music was really dope. Brum, 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 brum. <clears throat> you guys know how it goes. <clears throat> but um. anyway, so they're searching for part two to destroy it. And I think Turkey's trying to save it, actually, part two, because of his career and all this other shit. And it's just, yeah, it gets very weird. It ends up in space, which was fucking hilarious and weird and made how much. And, sense- he, ha- and he has a son and a wife. <laughs> his son this ends is up- how he talks to the wife and shit. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's, it's, I actually, I own those movies on DVD, and I'm so proud of that. I got them in a. Two like it was like a two pack case thing. Yeah, put away up here somewhere. But I got that thing last year. Got that for myself for uh you know Thanksgiving because this is Thanksgiving week as we all know may or may not know this is Thanksgiving week. It starts Tuesday and goes for the rest of the week. 
It could start Monday, but you know. <laughs> I, I got I got more of the thing. It's just because I always do the podcast on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So it's Thanksgiving Tuesday, Thanksgiving week. I even started, you can ask James this. And it's not even to just say it to like get laughs and chuckles. Yo, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? And I'm like, I mean, Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Just because every time I think of Thanksgiving, I think of this movie because I'm always for the past at least I'll say two years, maybe three years, maybe four years. I've definitely been watching the movie. And then for the past however many years I've been also reviewing this movie. So I believe this will be three years in a row consistently i believe i could be wrong could be four i don't know I maybe you have to go back and look yeah chat the first time i seen that where he was wearing the father skin and they're talking to him like looking down at the ground at the turkey yes the dad talking to him like it's the real father and shit i it was so fucking hilarious i did not i'm like did they really fucking go here yo Chad, if you're free to join us man i'll send you a link i can message you a link let me know but yeah, that part. And my yo, my wife was like, "Are you fucking serious at that part?" She's like, Are you serious? <laughs> "I was dying." She, she was looking at me like she, she was like, "I chuckled at that some parts." And then she was like, so "A lot of the parts that I was laughing, I was laughing because you're laughing." Like, why the fuck is he laughing at this? I was just, oh my gosh. It, it's again, it's one of those movies where you just kind of shut your brain off. And if you're someone who smokes weed, definitely smoke before you watch this movie. Both of them, just get a little high. Just watch it just for the one liners. All yeah. the fuck that, everything that Turkey says, the, all the jokes is fucking great. You you know what it is? So you have to have somebody that has you have to have kind of that gutter kind of fun mind, I'll say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that guy, kind of thing where you, you get all the dirty jokes, even though there are a lot of low hanging fruit in this one, but you get all the dirty jokes and shit. There's a couple there you gotta kind of pull it together or whatever, which is fine and funny, of course, but there's even a montage, uh, fucking, a like a fucking uh, singing part. Yeah. About his best friend who died. Oh, Billy. <laughs> oh, Billy. That shit was so fucking, <laughs> so fucking dope. Ah, oh, God, it's so funny though. Oh my God, I you do not feel uh, bad after watching these. They put you in a good way. You're like, yeah. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. You, you, I definitely don't feel bad watching these movies ever. No. And no. honestly, watching them back to back, this is—it's the way to do it. Even though I like part one first, I still watch one first, and then part three, just because. Yeah, I do the same thing. And I—the thing is with me, the first time I seen part three, it was so weird and dumb that I started losing focus off it, so I wasn't really paying attention hundred percent. And it was still playing in the background. But when it was over, I was like, what the fuck was this dumb? But then we had to review it. So I was like, I got to watch this one again. Mm-hmm. I loved the first one. I was like, I got to watch this one again. But I watched it. Fucking hilarious. It goes a 10 with the first one. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's the funny thing about it, man. Because it's, it's one of those movies to where it's just so fucking ridiculous. It's so stupid. Again, if this isn't a movie to where you're like, I'm going to take a date guy or girl who's into this movie. Cause there's male men and women who love these movies and you're welcome. I w- Yo, I wish there was a part two and they released it. I was going to say that who, who, by the way, who said this shout out to you, but who said this? Cause I'm so happy about that. That's the goal to get someone uh, hooked on these movies. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Chad. Yes, this man is a genius. He knows. He knows this shit because he did the challenge and watched Blood Lake, and he knows how. Bad that movie is. So, if you've never seen Blood Lake, people, if you've never, ever, ever, ever seen that shit show, Blood Lake, which for some funny reason Blood Lake seems to be mentioned a lot when Thanks Killing is being discussed and reviewed, this movie's way better than Blood Lake. Way better. Like this movie, if if there was Oscars for these movies, these. These movies here would win them all. Blood Lake wouldn't get shit. It wouldn't even be invited to the show. But uh, if you think you've seen the worst movie ever in life, watch Blood Lake. Yeah, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Watch Blood Lake. And if you still think you got that movie that's worse than uh, that, then send me, it to Anthony. us so we Peter can watch Anthony. it. Peter Anthony, go check out Rose Blood, people. 
Oh. Yeah, that's and that, see, but stuff like that though. What he was saying about how I got him hooked on both, like I love it when, because I I think I enjoy that more of getting people hooked on a movie like this than I do a movie like, say, Midsommar or Hereditary or fucking The Conjuring. You know what I mean? Like one of those movies, Sinister. All those movies that are great movies. Because I'm like with this movie, it's a different kind of appreciation. Appreciation. And you're digging deeper in the crate. Like it's like if if Walmart sold this movie, it's like you're digging in the crate, and then there's like a fucking vortex that you just fucking pull your arm out of, and these movies are stuck together for fucking two dollars for both of them. They just went out the store. They're like, fuck it, I'm taking them. And, and you're so diamonds. Hyped. Yes. You're like, yo, you need to go to Walmart up the street. You take that left, you know, you go to the back, go to the two dollar DVDs, grab that shit. Stick your hand in the vortex, you're going to get things killing. They have a bunch down there. People making all these low-budget movies, it's, their goal is to be as good as these movies. I say, see, I say, it depends, I think. It depends, because, like, there's there's some that make that are going with different angles, but I think if you're going to make, like, a, a silly one like this, you almost have to, you want it to stand out. As ridiculous as this is, this shit stands out. Yeah, that was the father's skin. He got there before they did, even though they got a car and they're driving. He yeah. Talk, he talk, and it just didn't kill the father. They had coffee. They were Hang talking up. shit. He kept, he was getting annoyed because the father kept saying yeah, it. No word, motherfucker. Yeah, he was like, say it one more time. And then he was, like, he was like, have a good day, little duck. He's like, that's it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. That's and, so Yes, but he was saying though, where the father's skin was fucking hilarious. Oh, hi, Dad. I'm like, what the fuck? The oh, first God. time I seen it, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And every <laughs> other time I see it, it's just like, oh, yep, I know what's getting ready to happen. And again, I watched it with my wife, and she gave me a few stares, guys. I will say that. She gave me quite a few stares, but hey, she knew what she was getting herself into when she said I do. Like she's, got, she's gonna have nightmares of the turkey now, and she's gonna beat <laughs> your ass when you're sleeping. Start coming out the streams with some sunglasses on. <laughs> Talk about something's bad, but yeah, man, it's bright up here. Why don't you just dim your lights? Nah, because the switch is all messed up. It's super bright up here, man. <laughs> Wearing glasses at work and everything else. Yeah, it's bright up here. <laughs> Not here. Yeah, it's, it's real bright up here. My eyes are sensitive today. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I'm kind. I am shocked. I will admit that she sat through them. Because how you said it, she just walked. She got up like the first time seeing. Yeah. The so the first, yeah, the first time she didn't last two minutes. She was just like, I can't do this, and got up and left the room and went to the kitchen. Like literally, I think she. I don't know if she stayed in the kitchen the whole time or went upstairs. I don't remember. I was too into the movie. And I mean. You know, now she got to experience these two wonderful, beautiful films, even though she gave them both zeros. They did both make her laugh slash chuckle between me laughing my ass off at these movies and certain parts that she was laughing. See, right there. That's, that's how that's how you got to make it. At least give it a one because it made you laugh. That's the way I look at it. But here's here's my thing. Right. Here's my goal. people. I don't know if she's listening or not, but my goal is to get her to watch them again next year because I am going to do another watch party for these next year. And I am going to be reviewing them again. Good luck. And. We're going to see what happens. If, she, if I get her to watch, I'm going to tell you guys like this, and I hope I remember this. I probably won't. So someone remember it for me. I'm going to say this. If I get her to watch these two movies again next year, her rating automatically moves up to a one. <laughs> That's fair. Her rating is a zero now, but they move. it should move up to a one. If she watches these again next year, it's going up to a one. Maybe she'll appreciate it more next year, and she'll give her own a higher score on her own. There you go. You know what I just realized? I don't know what I just realized. Never mind. <laughs> wow. But James. Yep. Um, you know what's coming out tomorrow? Wednesday. Wednesday's coming out tomorrow. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. It does. Yes, you're right. And Tomorrow at 6.30 Eastern time, as long as it's up there on Netflix, of course, I will be showing the first two episodes over on Stream Lounge. You have to have Netflix. Go hit my Stream Lounge link. Link is in the description. Um, <clears throat> but I'll be showing the first two episodes if they drop the whole season. If they do it episodically, I'll just be showing the one episode. 
but this will be the first show ever that I'm like starting the day that it drops. <laughs> and now I'm going to be starting and streaming the day that it drops. But again, I'm not going through the whole stream, the whole series in one day, doing two episodes every week at a time. Gives us something to do every week to watch, kind of enjoy. And do you know the exact time it's dropping? I have no idea. I wonder if it's midnight or like three o'clock in the morning. They usually do some weird ass shit. It, I feel like it'll be, but it's supposed to come out tomorrow. So I'm assuming if they do something like that, it'll be like midnight or like three so. or something real weird early in the morning, like you're saying. And yeah, so it should be out there by. 6 30 eastern time for me to show the first two episodes which i'm gonna do in stream lounge and when i do the shows like when i do shows in there and i'm doing episodic things i'm doing like two or more episodes i'm only gonna make one stream thing for it and just let it play on from there instead of making a different stream per episode just do one stream for it and just kind of play on and you know go like that but that is going to be a good time that's wednesday Thursday, there's going to be no episode. Enjoy the time with your families if you want to go back. I mean, you guys are going to be with your families, right? <clears throat> Most people have smart TVs. Most people have smart devices in their homes, even if you have to use your phone and stream it to the TV. You want to get the family together and have something to really discuss every year at Thanksgiving? Play these two films. <laughs> you know? Before the games, after the games, you play these two movies your family will have some shit to say about you and to you. <laughs> if you come to my house, you're going to be welcome to come over all the time because I appreciate stuff like that. It's the little things that count, you know? But that's my that's my, uh, that's my my ideas for you guys is to do that. That's my, uh, I don't know, suggestion. You know? Do something a little bit different. Spice up. Do you want to spice up the day? <laughs> Don't argue with your aunt, your uncle, and your cousin. Just put this on. Put part one on. And then put part, part three on right after. Then watch the Cowboys. There you go. Oh, fuck the Cowboys. Well, yeah, of course. but Or you could watch this over the Cowboys game if you really want to. But I'll be realistic and say watch this around it. Is there a wheel today? Yes. Yes, for next week, for next Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. Let me pull that up. Hope it lands on something good. I know. Speaking of wheels over on because we did just we did mention this wheel before, but on uh, popcorn and pints, I sent. Well, actually, no, I sent it in the group chat. The Disney one. Yep. Four picks. I sent my wife's four picks into the group, and then just give me the. Um... Thank you, Liz. I hope you too. You, you and your family. Thank you. You too. Four wheel of fate. Come see the world. And again, guys, if you really want to shake things up at your Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is the perfect movie to do it. Another good one's Blood Rage. Yeah, Blood Rage was good. Let me shuffle it up. So we had a wheel Thanksgiving movies. Oh, we did that last year, right? Yeah, yeah. we did it last year. That's where we watched some weird shit, like that one with the pilgrims. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Some fucked up shit. I wouldn't mind doing those theme wheels again. I think I think I'm gonna do Yeah, but the thing is there's not that many movies. Like you're gonna run out because no, I mean, I, Thanksgiving, I'm, Thanksgiving, I'm, Thanksgiving I'm, they don't give a lot of movies out. No, no, no. I'm gonna do something different. I'm just gonna do a holiday wheel with different holidays. Oh, okay. And then Oh Canada. This wheel, I thought this wheel was this wheel has to be just about done, right? It, it should be. I don't know what's left on it. Oh, not nah, maybe not. <laughs> oh, you got to find it. I thought that was a list of movies. No, this no, is the poster. Okay. Maybe I forgot here. to take it off the front one. Oh, yeah, it's on here. oh, we're done with it then. Oh, you forgot to take the picture off the wheel, so you got to spin it again. What wheel was that again? Horror Wheel of Fate. Oops. 
My bad, peeps. You know, I mean, let me get rid of this one right now. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean that in that kind of way. I was excited. I thought we we're gonna get a nice Canadian horror movie. Yeah, but now not all the newer wheels that were put on here. It is actually. Yeah, but I got a feeling it's gonna land on a category that I'm just eh. I hope it lands on cor Korean horror. Where? Oh, well, I don't have international. Is that under international foreign horror? Foreign horror, yeah. Yeah, it's not going to on that one right now. I can't tell what they are. They're all the same cover. Yeah, they're dark. I was doing some 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 stuff. We got super. Yes, there we go. Metro horror. This is my realm. Hey. And Thursday open. Do a quick shuffle off of this. I like the fuck's on here. And I don't know if Good Night Mommy's on here again, but remember if we do Good Night Mommy, I want to do that together with there's yeah. the one from there's there's two of them, but there's a yeah, remake. The, the new one that came out. The old one though, yo. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. It's yeah. I mean, <clears throat> what we got? How is it? The remake good? Did you see the original? Yeah, did you see the original? Anything Ain't... for Jackson? Uh -oh. oh, great! Anything for Michael Jackson? You want some bad Jesus? No, Jesus. no, 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 no. Oh, that was that. scary to me. <laughs> We're not going to do that to the King of Pop, James. Anything for Jackson. Oh, you got to see the OG. The OG, yeah, the, the OG one, like, I, I, it's actually on this um, movie poster thing I have, which, you know what, James? Oh, yeah, the uh, Top Horror 100? We should, uh, I could I do watch it. parties with the watch party slash podcast. Maybe we should make some figure out how to make some wheels out of those movies on that list. All right, but we'll take we'll we'll scratch out if we if we've both seen both of us have seen the movies before. We'll take it off. If one of us haven't seen it, we'll figure out a way to throw it on a wheel. I agree. Sounds good to me. Okay, one more spin for Thursday. Yeah, one more spin. What do we get? Shuffle this up one more time and get what we got. Come yeah, the OG one, I highly recommend it if you guys have not seen it. Good night, mommy. Which it's on one of these wheels. I think it's on the foreign horror wheel. Um we're gonna, sure we're, we're, whenever it gets picked, we're gonna do both of those. What we got? Oh, there you go. Of darkness. Did you ever see Prince of Darkness? I don't think so. I don't know, actually. It sounds so familiar. I know somebody recommended it's about it's about Dracula. Very, very recently, somebody recommended it. So it might have been one of my aunts, believe it or not. Okay. There you actually, go. I think it was. Prince of Darkness. I think that's on Netflix. Sweet. I think. Or was it Amazon Prime? I don't. It's it's on. It's streaming. Well, that'll be next week. That'll be next. Oh yeah, that's Thursday. Uh, yeah. Tuesday is uh, anything for Jackson? Yes, sir. All right. Anything for Jackson? And let's we'll see how what the fuck that's about. It's on the supernatural wheel, so it has to be something. I know. I'm. I'm. Oh my gosh, man. Here, here's my thing, though. I'm. <laughs> we had a nice little run all the way up to, let's see, Barbarian. Mm -hmm. Right place to kill. I gave it a four. You gave it a three. And then Nightmare Wakes, a one and a three. And then yeah. Weasley gave a 10 and a 10, but they're different kind of movies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. And the next two, more so... um. I'll say more so than anything for Jackson because I have no idea what to expect. Prince of Darkness, I have a feeling that's going to be good. I may have seen it, but I'm not sure. I'll know once I watch it Thursday, uh -huh. next Thursday. But you're not really into vampire shit, though, aren't you? Uh, it's it 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 depends on me. I don't know. 
I have I haven't you know what it is? I haven't seen enough to really say if I love or hate it. You watched 28 Days Later? That was awesome. That was fucking dope. brutal. That's the type of shit I love. That's the type of shit I want to see when I watch that type of shit. Aren't they making a new one? 30 days or 30 weeks later or something like that? 38 weeks or months or some shit. I, so, I, yeah, I think there's something new coming out. I don't know if it's true. I hope they keep it. I hope it's brutal like that one. That shit was the fuck, though. That's the type of shit I like. Like, yeah, I need yeah. to see more vampire shit like that. Or like action, like Underworld. Underworld's good. That's vampire yeah, and I mean, werewolf. I, those are fun. Don't get me wrong. I did enjoy those. My wife loves those. Blade. But, same. But I love like when it's real gory. I Blade agree. Gory. I love I just love when it's more gory. And I'll even say with the vampire shit, when it's gory and dark. You know what I mean? Like that dark, even if it's like that dark, sexual, lusty thing, but just give me the fucking gore. Like you could you could have the whole romance up to the end and just turn on each other. And rip That's each other. what's funny about all, all, all the horror. Like for if you wanted to put like a romance horror, the creature is always a vampire. There's like there's no like serenading as they're werewolves and shit. But it's usually majority of the movies are vampire movies. Oh, let's see, interview with the vampire. Well, I mean, I think you know I mean, shit like that. They could have like that beautiful complexion, that beautiful person, because it's always a good looking person, and they're just they don't age. Even that dumbass Twilight. They have. A bunch of, I mean, they're obviously they're filthy rich. They've been around for a fucking centuries. They better be rich, or fucking go just stand out in the sun or some dumb shit. But <laughs> yeah, and listen, guys, I, I have to say something. I've said this on Popcorn and Pines. I'm going to say this here on Horror with Search Thirty, just because of what James just said about Twilight. <sighs> Robert Pattinson is Batman now, guys. He's uh, I respect him as Batman now. Yeah, he did. He did pretty good. He did really good in that movie. That shit was dope. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. We reviewed I'm, it. On I'm glad. He, I'm glad he left the uh, the vampire Batman. It was here. Yeah, I guess it wasn't proud of the Sunday Sparkle. But he got twinkles. that bag. He got what that the bag. fuck. I can't be mad at that. Fuck that but movie. That, that's that's enough. Then the werewolf. That's enough. Team Team oh, Town oh. Puppy. <laughs> I do want to say this too, really quick before I forget. So this Friday, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. So tomorrow, Wednesday, six thirty Eastern time, I am um, doing a watch party doubleheader. The first two episodes, if the whole season is dropped, of course, of Wednesday tomorrow, six thirty Eastern time, right over on Stream Lounge, on the Horror Research Thirty Stream Lounge, and then this Friday, yes, this Friday, eight thirty Eastern time. It's not going to be a frightening Friday night, not for you guys at least, but for me, it may be. Over on the Popcorn and Pine Stream Lounge, I will be streaming Harry Potter Card One. Um, I've never I've seen parts of Part One. I tried to watch it with my wife a couple of years ago, and I fell asleep. So I'm gonna watch one. We're gonna do one a week every Friday for the next. You better take your. You better take your power nap. Don't and fall asleep. I was gonna do two at a time, but I was like, you know what? That's too fucking long. They're long, That's man. They're like three hours of peace. Yeah. It's damn near six hours of Harry Potter. I can't do it. So I'm going to do two and a half hours or whatever it is. And we're going to have a good time. We're going to make it fun. And uh, we'll see if I become a fan. Honestly, because I have no clue. Like I said, I watched some of the first one. I didn't really enjoy it. I fell asleep. But every person that's told me about these movies that I've been talking to since I've been saying I was getting ready to do this was saying, get through the first two. Part three is where it picks up. Part four is where it really picks up, or some shit like that. I forgot, but part three is where it starts to really pick, where it starts to pick up and get dark. And I know I like the dark shit, so let's see if that happens. Um, and what I'm gonna do with those is I'm gonna watch those movies, and at the end of the stream, at the end of the movie, I'm just gonna give my little review, kind of you know go with that, and uh. Maybe I'll actually I may even get those clips from Stream Lounge and put those out, drop those little reviews, just the reviews over on TikTok or something on the Popcorn Pines TikTok. So you guys can go back and watch it if you don't want to watch the whole stream. We'll see though. We'll see. But just to let you guys know what's coming up. What's coming up? Anything for Jackson though? I don't know how to feel about that, man. I don't know what it's about. Never heard of it. I have no idea. And I'm and like one thing I do so what we used to do. Um, a few months back, maybe damn near a year ago, but definitely a few months back, earlier this year, maybe even, is 
we would watch the trailers of the next movies we're getting ready to review. Mm-hmm. And for better or for worse, like I, I, I'm the type of person I do enjoy trailers here and there, especially like the horror trailers with the old, you know, the old school voice, creepy voice, or whatever, like that guy voice, whatever. And but then it kind of takes away from the far away town. <laughs> it kind of takes away from the movie when you're going to review it the next week or the next day or whatever. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Um, and at times, the trailer is the best part of the movie, and it kind of hurts in a sense when I'm going to review it for myself personally. I'm going to like I'm going to watch this, and you see that part in the movie, it's like, oh, okay, that was it. That was the fucking part. That exactly. Was, oh, That's yeah. why I don't watch them. And a perfect example, I am so glad I didn't see not even a clip. It's barbarian. Yo, but I went I went in there a hundred percent blind, did not know what that movie is about. And it made it better because if yeah. I knew certain shit, it wouldn't have been cool. I'll I'll say this though, with Barbarian 2. Hmm, you really didn't hear much about that movie unless it was from people who've seen the movie. And all they would say is, yo, I like I've seen this from plenty of people. Yo, I did not see a trailer from this movie. I went in this movie blind. I'm glad I did. You need to go in this movie blind. And that'll be like the post. Like that, but not many people. People aren't really spoiled. They weren't really spoiling it then. I don't know how it is now. But they were just like, yo, go I see I heard a couple movie. people just said the movie is crazy. But they didn't say anything. What is about. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they'll say that. Maybe more so now people are spoiling it more. Which, I mean, if you have a podcast or a podcast, Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I think, I think people are spoiling it now. Yeah. I mean, if you have a post, what you want, of course, with movie spoilers. Uh, the, only thing I'll say, I'll, the way I look at it like this, because I have a spoiler podcast, it's, I guess it's easier to skip over audio then. But with like visuals, I'd say just put, you know, spoiler, spoiler alert. Like I say this, you know, I've said it enough on this podcast for you guys to know it's a spoiler show. Unless the only way that we don't spoil things is if we get something sent behind the scenes and like, hey, could you guys kind of briefly discuss this without mm-hmm. spoiling it? Then, yeah, that's mostly for like indie stuff here and there, which has been a while. Yeah, it's indie shit to watch and review. Which ah, I'll tell you. Yeah, about. send us short stories. Yeah, send us some uh, the short the indie films. horror people. Send us some movies for us to watch and review, please. Because um, as a matter of fact, if you guys are still in here, indie horror people, contact me. Because what I want to do, I'm gonna make an indie horror wheel, just for you guys. We'll put uh, somebody give me a number between one and fifteen in the comments. 69. That's way higher than. <laughs> That's why I said somebody in the comments are not James. James can't count, guys. Nope. But if you're still in the comments, give me a number between 1 and 15, please. And that's how many of those films I'm going to put on the, 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 what you call it. And I will add more if the, if the number seems way too low. I will say that. And if anybody loves uh, the indie movies out there and they want to be on it, and talk yeah. about their movie. That would be great too. Come on here while yeah, we yeah. review it, review it with us, have some comments, you know, talk about who is why certain scenes happen, everything happened the way it is. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Peter, if you're still here, let's do it with the Friday your uh, Friday thirteenth fan films. Let's do that soon. Oh yeah. Let's do that soon. Because the fans know how to make a fucking movie. Mm-hmm. They they know what they want to see. They want they know what they want how the story for Jason goes. Yes, yes. Which so it's, I will say this. This is an early spoiler. On Friday the 13th of January, I am going to be showing I'm gonna be showing some Friday the 13th fan films. Um I should have uh, day I before even, my birthday. I may even take that day off. I just make a day of it. I haven't made a day of watching Friday the 13th in a long time, but I'm make may, may make a nice day stream of Friday the 13th fan films. And I think that'll be a a grand old time, January 13th. But yeah, again, indie people out there. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Let's do this. Let's get this together. Let's get your movies out there more so more people can check them out. We'll review them, give our honest opinions. If we like them, love them, or hate them, we'll be honest about it. And have a good time. And come on here with us again. Actually, I know there is a couple by... Uh, remember Craig James? So yep. A couple of his movies. He has a couple... Craig think, Aarons or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe he yeah. has... Which evil down the street guys go check out that great movie. Go check I out. Think I I watched Demon Fighter. How was it? It was it was okay. It was pretty good. It wasn't bad. 
let's review it. Well, we're, we're going to review that because we that as a matter of fact. OK, so it was that movie. And then there was another movie. I don't know if it's out yet. I'll talk to him. But then we could review on Popcorn and Pints and then interview them on both shows. So By the way, he's he's a really uh, awesome guy. N- nice guy. Nice. Um, I, wrote, I wrote a comment, said great movie. He hit me up in a mes- message thanking me and everything for watching and shit. Great dude. Super, super, super nice guy. And that's that's what I love with the, with the whole indie scene that I've got to connect over the years. Yeah. And I've been started connecting with even more. So just shout out to all you guys. Colin Bressler, I know we got something. We were talking about some things behind the scenes, people, but we got some things coming. Hopefully, if everything goes well, got some cool things going on, hopefully in around January-ish, I believe. So, yeah, it's it's exciting. It's exciting. I could say that. I could definitely say that. And um oh by yeah. the way, my uh my birthday is the day after your Friday the thirteenth thing. And I, it's gonna be my birthday and popcorn and punch. Your popcorn and oh January. Yeah. And your picks for that. And my picks for it. And it could be any movies you want. Of course, yeah. we say if possible, non horror, of course, but if you yeah. have horror related or briefly horror, I guess. Nope, it's all good. I'll find but, something. Uh, most likely it's gonna be newer shit that came out, but we'll see. Whatever you want for whatever reason, that oh man, on your actual birthday too. I and so if I'm not mistaken, if I'll have to check the calendar for next year, I believe popcorn and pints for my birthday Saturday will be on my birthday. So we'll see. Nice. We'll see. Maybe I'll pick two movies that from my birth year. Mm-hmm. Just pick two movies that I was, you know. We'll see though, because. There's some wild shit that came out in the 80s. I don't know if we have to relive. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> nah. There you go. Find a movie that, that uh, was uh, released on your birthday. Birthday, or at least the birth year. If you can find that on your birthday, that's cool. Birthday slash birth year, birth month. Hmm. Maybe one movie like that, and then one movie, whatever the fuck you want. I'm curious about that. I like, yo, I, yeah, I got, we got it. I want to talk to the guys about that because I think I like that idea. For the birthday picks, you pick one movie, whatever you want, and one movie is from your birth year. Depending on how many you have in your month or on your birth date, but look at this. We just think about this shit. Just poof. Just right off the spot. Boom. Birthdays. Birthdays. So let's do, for the, for the what you call it, wheel, let's do um six, James. Six at a time. Okay. Sounds good. And maybe what I'll do is I'll do a oh shit. shit. A lot of good stuff came out on my birthday year. Damn. Okay. See, and I think that should be a good because because that way you're watching something from that year you were born. You're watching something, you know what I mean? And then maybe there's a lot of there's a lot of shit though. I'm not gonna lie. But that looks like there's some good stuff. I'd even say to make it easier too. Like once it gets closer, if you're doing it like that, see like see which movies are the easiest to find. Maybe like on streaming or whatever. Yeah. If necessary. There's a lot of shit I never heard of. Twilight Zone movie came out in 1983. Okay. Okay. See, 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 see. Damn. All right. But I think we're gonna wrap this one up, people. Yeah. Um, wrap it up tight. If, if, once yeah. again, it's the same every year, but we don't care. Oh, it's fucking. It, it's, it's on. Too- we'll repeat ourselves. We'll think of something new. It's all good. These movies are great. They are. I mean, it's just. I, I'm always happy when I'm watching these movies. I'm always smiling, laughing, and shit. And I mean, it's 2022. And I think the episode I called 2023. Whoops. I'll fix it if I did. I, I think I did that, but fuck it. I'm going to repeat in 2023 anyway. I'll just call that one 2022. As a matter of fact, I'll leave. I'll call 2023, 2022, if I remember. Oh, you did put 2023. It's on top of the thing. That's fine. So I'll put 20. Yeah. So next year when I review this movie, it's going to be 2022 as a review. That's yeah. all. Just a future review. Because we're in yep. space. Now we give a review from the past because of you know, pilgrim shit. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. And, and, and then quote, Moon Poon. Moon Poon. Get that Moon Poon. <laughs> Hashtag moon poon. Hashtag moon poon. Okay. That was from part three. He's like, you're nothing but a piece of moon poon. <laughs> <laughs>
God. <laughs> Fuck, it's good. Oh my gosh. You guys have to watch those fucking movies if you've never seen them before. Seriously. Um, if you're someone who smokes the marijuana and you're the age legally, that you're the correct age and it's legal in your state, um, do that before you watch these. If you're someone who likes to have a little sippy sip of something and you're legal age, legal state, whatever the shit that is, have a little sippy sippy and watch these. I'm telling you, man, they are fun fucking movies. Watch them and try to do what I do. Every year, watch these and try to get somebody new to watch them. I'm good one, Chad. Thanks for joining. Again, next year, hopefully that person could be you if you've never seen these films before. If you haven't, if you haven't watched them yet, wait till next year to watch them with Sturdy. Review them with Sturdy. It's where it'll be worth it. Chad, thank you so much, man. You have an amazing night. Enjoy your night at work. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm sure we'll talk soon. Have a great night. You guys go check out the Video Store Clerks podcast. They have an awesome podcast. We're out of here. Again, check out the Z Network. Check out the whole entire Z Network. Link is in the description. Go to my website, horrorsearchstudy.com and get all my links. You guys know what's connected with us. Check out all these awesome dope content creators, podcasters, and everything else. Um, I may be gaming tonight. I'm not sure. I'll definitely be gaming turkey night and all those other nights, but uh, we'll see. Have a great night. I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace. Gobble, gobble, motherfuckers. Nice tits, bitch. Nice tits. 2023 and 2022 and 2022 is going to be... Moon poon. Moon poon. Moon poon.